I really wasn't going to put the engine in today, but um, it's just getting in my way so much it needs to go in. So I'm just going to whack it in quickly and I've got the two straps. I've got that brace, but I can fit the brace in um, from underneath easy enough. So I'm just going to put it in, I think, like it is. Um, so yeah, raise it up. Um, I'll cart it out here and then I'll show you uh, what it looks like when it's going in. First of all, I'm just going to whack this on here. Um, you can see it just goes to the mount I've already put on. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's the first mount that eventually goes in and also you use it to put the um, uh, seat belts around to lift it up with. This uh, mount on, I'll take that nut and bolt out. You have one short side, which is this, and the long side. And really you're just trying to angle it so that the transmission's further down. And that enables you to uh, get it in the engine bay. So then you're going to try and put the uh, engine mount in first. And then with a jack that's already in position, you jack the um, transmission up and then get that one in. Mm -hmm. doing it yourself is you can't always see uh, what things are getting snagged on. I nearly got snagged on a bloody bonnet pull, but anyway, I didn't. I've got the uh, jack underneath there, a block of wood, that's just going to um, kind of be able to raise the transmission up. You can see it's kind of catching on the uh, traction rod there, but I should be able to just um, place the jack up in there and uh, get this, firstly this mount in place, it's just sitting on there, just resting on there for now and um, should be good. <laughs>
very close here. I should be able to um, just push that back a bit and um, get that first bolt in. We're in, kind of. that little bit has put it in the right position. I should, with a bit of jiggery poke, be able to get that one. Another view from the back, you can see how close it is to going through there. We're through, I can just uh, wriggle that in. Okay, that's the whole way through. Let's get the uh, washer on there, and then the nut. I think these are actually captive most of the time, but my captive snapped off, so being set free. And now, in the position whereby we can lower this down a little bit, um, get the mount on, which I have here. So the mount sits in there like that. It's just easier not to have that in for now because um, it enables you to move things around a bit. I've dropped the engine right down. I can just put this mount in like that. And just get these three bolts in. Not great, so I've just got a tap here and um, I'm just running that down and I've got this nice little tool here, which is quarter inch, which is just enough to be able to turn this in situ. These uh, threads out went quite well, and I can just um, bolt all of these up. They're all uh, 19s, but they're all spinning in just by hand now. Tighten each of those up, and now it's just a matter of placing that up and in. And I'm getting this up. There's gonna be two options. Um, I want to use, use this jack. Probably be my best option. We can, of course, there you go. The hole is pretty much lined up. Should we give it a go? Yeah. And then now, one side's in. All I need to do is kind of rock it back and forth and get it in in the captive nut around the back there. There's a fair amount of movement you can do with these uh, mounts. So what I've done is I've just slacken these two off. I'm just going to tap it slightly and see if I can't just straighten the situation up. We're basically pretty much in. Just going to jiggle around a bit and get that bolt in. I like taps with the rubber hammer. I think the threads are just about to go there. But we're in. Nice. Right, then we can just remove this. Trusty uh, seatbelts. Take the jack out of the way. But, um, your 17mm there's tight. Uh, your 17mm, in my case with a nut on the back, is tight as well. And then this is the first stage of the engine being in. 